Welcome to Able Shop. Well, actually, uh, Able Shop's home, aka Liv, who owns a vintage store called Able Shop. This is her house in Elgin, which is a suburb outside of Chicago. And I'm from Geneva. So we are relatively close. Well, actually, no one in my family lives in Geneva anymore. I think she watches my YouTube and then I uh, follow her vintage store, which has just such a great curation of really unique pieces that align with my style, definitely. And we've kind of just, you know, DM'd back and forth and I saw some photos of her place. I've actually featured her living room on my channel quite a few times because I think she's done such a great job. And now that I've toured this house, I am very excited to show you all all of her stuff because this house is um, from what, Liv, when is this house, when was this house built? The house was built in 1892. It's an old house and this is Liv. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I was telling them we're Instagram friends. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know how we found each. Did you find my YouTube or did I I've find you? I've been watching your YouTube for a while. Okay. And then I think someone, oh, I entered a picture. In yes. One I, of, yeah. I put you on yes. something. Yeah. Some... And I wanted your advice and you're like, it looks good. And I was like, no, Paige, tell me what to do. <laughs> and then I think I DM'd you and I was like, where's your rub, rug from? Yeah. And I was like, Facebook Marketplace. Sorry. Everything, everything here is from Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. Or yeah. Goodwill. The, the yes, there. exactly. And she just does this for a living. So yeah. you can you can tell as we go through the tour. We're standing in her sunroom, which is so ideal to have. Constantly talking about how I wish I had a porch or a sunroom. Also, as I've been viewing her place, it just makes me want to buy an old home in the suburbs of Chicago. Because it's just, you can just do so much to a space like this. And you'll see as we go through. She's decorated it very nicely. But let me show you... Um, a little more of the sunroom before we go into the house. This is an original sofa from Sweden that she got from her friend's grandparents from the 50s. And the fabric is original and these are just so good. Right when I walked in, I was like, whoa, I love those sofas. Over here, we have a little dining area, which I'm sure would be nice to uh, have a little brunch out here. And we put out some of her fun dishware because I like to show off the smaller things in these videos. Some really cool vintage glassware, vintage little coupe things that are perfect. There's some that are short and some that are taller, perfect for like little snacks, nuts. She has a garden out back, which you will get to see, which is really great. Look at these little shells that are a little salt, salt and pepper. <sighs> I mean, she is a vintage collector and has a vintage store, so this all makes sense, but I'm rethinking a lot of my life. So, okay, let's go inside. The outside of the house is wonderful, but we basically can't show that, you know, safety. But come this way to the foyer. To the foyer. <laughs> And now for the entry, come on in to the house. To have an entry hall, I feel like is just ideal. 
having a little foyer where you can have a giant arrangement and a table, it's just good. So come, come in and, and view this with me. Does this not feel pretty ideal for the holidays? For some reason, I feel like this place feels really nice during the holidays and the summer. Today's kind of a gloomy day, which is nice though when your decor consists of good lighting and candles. But yeah, it feels, they, I, they don't have kids, but this does feel like, you know, a very Christmas morning staircase. And I love it. Here's another good view of the bench and the fabric that she used. And you'll notice a lot throughout the house, she has pillows in this kind of stripe pattern, which I think is really cute. And she sells a lot of these at um, her shop, Able Shop. So if you like this pillow, um, go check out her shop. Liv, is Able Shop online? Okay. It will be. It will be online and it will be in Chicago. It will be somewhere and I'll link it all down below. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, let's look at more of her things because we're snooping. I like this area because there's so many entrances you can go through. It's almost, you know, it gives you this open floor plan feel without actually knocking down walls because this is all, you know, how the, how the house came. And then the fireplace being kind of in a weird spot, I actually like that. And then look at this little art piece. I think if you have a blank wall like this, a random wall, I think it's fun to add in a cool table with, you know, a statue of some sort. A cute piece of art, a vase. Once again, she does own a vintage store, so we can't be too upset by all of her good finds. Here's a better look at the fireplace. She says it doesn't work, which is fine. You can just put some candles, but I like how she has this stool in front of it. And then just a lovely display on top of the fireplace. This is a really good example, and let me get out of the way, of how to decorate your fireplace if you're ever confused. Do, do that. I do have to say, this is one of my favorite spots in the house. I love how this piano fits perfectly back into this nook and that she made it more into you know, a visual piece than just having a piano stuck. I think this is such a great way to incorporate books and art and adding in a little sconce and just making this more of a visually pleasing <laughs> space than just like shoving a piano. She made it kind of into like an art section and I'm very, I love all the stacks of books. And again, just, you know, little things like this rattan shell. Where do you even find something like that? Cute little pillows that she just has sitting on the piano bench. Yeah, this is such a, such a good little area. If you watch my channel, you've definitely seen this room on past videos, multiple videos, because this is such a great room filled with a lot of collectibles. She said that she got these sofas from Habitat for Humanity 
down the street and their restoration hardware, which is just kind of wild. And I like a two sofa room where you have two sofas facing each other. And then of course I was like, do you have a TV or where do you watch TV? And of course it's in this little hutch because she's creative like that. And then it makes this room just so much better. I also really, really, really love these giant lamps and the shade color is just really good for making the space feel warm. And the tapestry is good too. You don't really see any other art that kind of looks like this. She has a lot of more, she has a lot more modern art, I would say, across the house. So I think it's nice. Again, she's good at mixing, you know, vintage and new and old and she knows, she knows. Okay, so this is the rug that we were talking about earlier that I was, I should have known that it was vintage, but I did message her and ask her where she got it. And it's just a really good find. Where did you find this one on Marketplace or? Yeah, I'm upset by the rug because I, I would own that rug. <laughs> I also like these little MoMA. Are these MoMA? Is this little mobile like a MoMA mobile? You know how they sell those? Oh, Facebook Marketplace. Midwest Mobiles, and she's like in her 70s and she makes them. Okay, it's Midwest Mobiles. I'll have a lot of the stuff, like anything that isn't thrifted, I will uh, have linked, but okay, Midwest Mobiles. I also like the addition of that in like next to the tapestry. That's, that's the perfect type of mix. And then, then look at this. She just is a prop stylist. Just a cute arrangement on her coffee table. We like it all. not encouraged to buy things from Facebook Marketplace or Goodwill, or if you think you can't furnish your home by thrifting, think again, because this entire room is thrifted and pretty much everything is from Goodwill. The table is actually from Facebook Marketplace from Geneva, which is my hometown, but all of this you could find on first dibs for a lot of money, but yet, you can just go on Facebook Marketplace. Well, you just have to dig and pay attention and look every single day. <laughs> and then everything you see here is just items she put out for me for playing around with styling the home. And she just has a really good collection of candles. And I don't know why I've never had this, but this is a stick them candle cohesive and you basically just dip a candle in and then it helps it stay in whatever you're putting it in i guess but lots of good little things on a really good and well not so little table right when i got here i immediately asked her if these shelves came with the house and they did a lot of the stuff in this house is original, so whoever lived here before did a pretty cute job at keeping everything. And she just kind of styled it with seashells and vases. And I like how it's kind of a more muted palette over here, just keeping it different from different areas of the home. And I feel like what a lot of people do wrong is they'll take this kind of design and put it throughout their entire house Whereas I think if you just have it in little sections and kind of just mix up where you're adding color, where you're staying neutral, there you go.
old houses always have the cutest little rooms. For example, this is a butler's pantry, but it has this little desk with a window. Again, maybe you don't work here or maybe you do, but you can store a bunch of, you know, stuff. And again, this is just cute. I feel like newer houses don't really offer you something like this with like an archway. And I just think smaller rooms have been eliminated from newer builds and they should bring it back because here, look at this side. It's a good butler's pantry. See the cabinets with original hardware on them. You can store a lot of your glassware, whatever. And then like, look at this. It's just great. So for the kitchen, there's, you know, some older cabinetry, which they just painted, which looks great. And then again, adding in some modern touches, because this is definitely, you know, an older feeling kitchen. And I think they did a great job putting in a very simple island and just kind of adding in hydrangeas and just some sleek touches to, to upgrade the space. And I actually really love the color of the cabinets and I will make sure to get that paint color from her. And it'll be listed right above my hand. Great, uh, great cabinet color. Some people are really finicky about like redoing all floors, but I just don't mind them. Okay, now we are upstairs and there are three rooms that are beautifully decorated and all of them are very different, which I really like. So let's start with this, this room, little, little sitting room. That door connects you to the primary bedroom. This is kind of like a little hang. I love this red piece of art. Again, just different from the whole vintage feel of the house. I have a red canvas and I really like it. See, a good uh, entrance to the primary which is back here. Is this a good angle before we... It feels to me like these might have been closed off cabinets. I could be wrong, but I think it looks really nice. They just kind of kept them and added on some stuff. And then this is a Wassily chair, which I actually have a Wassily chair and it goes with my last name. So again, a different type of design, a mid-century, something mid-century, you know? All right, here, here's the primary. Let's go. Really into the four post bed frame. If you watched my last episode of Check Out This Fucking Home, uh, Caroline Winkler also had a similar bed frame and I think it looks really nice, especially in like a very plain minimal room. And again, the bedspread 
feels very, you know, like Hay Design or Ikea, which is just different than a lot of her other textiles. So how many times can I point out that she does a good job mixing? There's another one. Also this little Danish desk, you know, now you can kind of see the importance of adding wood to a space too. You know, she has a lot of wood and even the, the lampshades, which I'm super inspired by. A lot of her lampshades are, you know, these darker colors, like the ones from her living room. And then these guys are like darker browns. And now I'm going to do that because that's kind of the whole point of the series is to find um, inspiration from homes that are normal, you know, so we can actually copy them. <laughs> so we've done the primary, we've done the cute little sitting room over here, and now I'm gonna bring you into the guest bed, which is completely different and feels a little bit more French. I don't, I don't know, I like how each room is just so different. So let me show you this guy. He's pink, he is pink. The sconces don't have bulbs. Otherwise, imagine that as like, you know, something, something warm. But this room is just so different. And I normally don't love pink, but the way she did pink in here feels good. This old scallopy bedspread and Adding in some more like burgundy or actually it's more like a raspberry pink red with some green stripes. The plaid on the sconces and the striped bed spray, bed frame. She also has an art deco, oops, type dresser back here, workout stuff. I feel like you all are, are gonna really like this room. Hopefully I capture it nicely. It does, it is a little dimmer in here, but I'd rather have the mood than the overhead. Here, I'll show you the overhead one last time, just in case, just in case you want it. See? Well, found out there's an attic up here and this attic is insane. It feels like it would be perfect if they had kids. Like there's a few rooms and they could put another room even and then have this be like a play area. This is such a good house. And I can't believe there's an, this attic. Let me show you these little rooms that she currently has like vintage stuff in. First room, look at this. I don't know if this is really my style. I don't know if I would wear that hat, but lots of vintage items in here. And this room is already like done, like this could be one of the kids' rooms. I'm obsessed with the suburbs, um, the suburbs, I guess. And then you come over here. Okay, that doesn't work. Another, another kids' rooms. It's like, does she wanna have kids? I don't know, I didn't ask her, but I did say this would be ideal. Again, another little storage spot for her vintage stuff. And maybe they're manifesting kids. We don't know. But lots of fun things in here. Like look at this little guy. We'll just put him there. I love this attic. Ooh, that looks, that looks kind of creepy. I'll put him down. And just boxes of stuff, you know. You know how it is. But look. This is a standing attic. It goes tall. It's like the tip, the tip of the house. Um, all right, let me show you the backyard now. I just had to, I just had to show the attic because pretty cool, pretty cool. This is such a cute spot right here. Okay. 
being at all white, but it kind of just has this extra. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Actually, yeah. that's why I did it all. My sale with all my past inventory plus oh my plus gosh. stuff, and then it's out here in the backyard and. Perfect. This really puts anything I did to my backyard to shame. <laughs> First off, these are hanging string lights. I never thought of spinning vines around your string lights so that it doesn't look like you have hanging string lights. Just a brilliant idea. So everyone should steal that. And then this little sitting area. This is what I mean when I regretted all of the color choices I used in my backyard because then I saw what she picked out and I was like oh I should have done those colors <laughs> and that's true <laughs> we're trying to figure out what the name of this type of table or style of chairs are because they're I've seen them before and they're very unique and they're also really comfy because you can go like this <laughs> but I really love um did it come with these cushions for real no oh Wow, that's crazy. Cause look at the pattern on these, on these cushions. And that's the end. And now I'm friends with Liv. <laughs> we did just meet right before this video. It was fun. Any last words? Um, <laughs> it's great to meet you. This I know. Was fun. <laughs> I know this really. You have such good style. It's kind of. It's making me want to redo a lot of my stuff. So, do you have any other plans for? You want to paint? I do want to paint. I want to explore more with color. Um, and that's that. That's that. I, I want to do more color too. When I eventually move out of my place, um, <laughs> I want to paint because I didn't paint anything in this place. And But you kind of, you didn't paint really much except that bedroom. Yeah, just the bedroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess you don't need paint. Just decorate and get a landscaper pretty much is what, what we're saying. And hang vines on your, that's like the one takeaway specific, that's like a very new invention to me. Did it's you see it? Intuitive. Did you see it from way. someone? No, I just, I just started wrapping it when it got too long and it kept going. Oh my God, it's so smart. Um, all right, that's another episode <laughs> of Check Out This Fucking Home. Um, I'll have everything linked down below and you can follow Liv at Able Shop. And she'll tell you there what she's doing, because every month is different. Yeah, we don't know yet. Okay, bye. <laughs> the endings are always so well, well. And then I'll probably just keep in this part. Then it's not too real. Yeah, exactly, exactly. video. But I'll, uh, I'll crop it. Okay. <laughs>